know. I don't really obsess over it. I think that's what it is. I'm a um, busy mum, three kids, one big kid, and I really don't obsess over, you know, the small things and how I look and how am I going to stay young and things like that. I just keep things simple. I think uh, Sam knows I'm not one to go to day spas for hours on end or anything like that. I just like to keep things simple, you know, like back, like they did back in the old day. I think the way I was brought up is, you know, don't put crap on your face and, you know, just keep things natural. Don't dye your hair and all that kind of stuff. So I did very little of any of that for quite some time. Now with the greys, it's a different story. Um, but I think it's just keeping as natural as I can be and staying true to who I am and my, you know, my true self. And that's not really... I don't know. I'm not really a superficial person. I don't think I'm not really about a workout. You know, every day I do something. It doesn't have to be a big, you know, workout session, but you know, I'll get the girls. I will go for a walk, um, you know, go to the park, make sure I go up heels, down heels and all that kind of stuff and get my exercise and all that kind of stuff in without really knowing that I'm doing it. But are there other things that you you do that you go, you know what, when I look after my skin like this or when I eat this, I really, it delivers? Because you are busy, so you need to do things that deliver. No, tell, uh, talk about the the sun visor that you wear. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah <I've seen> <laughs> Looks like she's doing some welding in the, um, yeah. in the front <laughs> garden as she... She does the right thing with sunscreen yeah. and, you know, I know that you being from Perth and being Macedonian, I think the sun makes Snezh happy, probably like it does most of us. But really does. living I in Melbourne, it. we don't see as much of it as Snezh would like. But she has uh, she gets this, melasma yeah. on her face and she's very sort of skin conscious regarding sun damage. And so she wears this uh, visor. Like a, it looks like a welder's helmet. It's like, a, I think it's called a ha halo. I think it's I've called. seen them. I love them. Yeah. yeah. So I wear them outside to just make sure that my skin is well protected because even five minutes in the sun and my melasma will just flare up, come up. And I'm 40 now. So I'm, I am a little bit conscious of wrinkles. Your skin Comfortable. routine. You have to. You have to tell me what you do because your skin is. Oh, my skin routine. It's. It's no. Honestly, it's really simple. It's not like five hundred dollar creams or anything. I'm just using L'Oreal. That's it. I just use the L'Oreal serums and creams every morning, every night, and that is it. That's it, really. And I just cleanse my face with whatever. Every now and then, I'll do a um, natural mask from the body shop just to. I don't know, refresh, bring out impurities and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's really simple. I don't overcomplicate things and I don't buy into the $500 creams and things like that. It's just really. The thing, one of the things that I love about Snez, so, like she's so down to earth that, is she, yeah, it, it, it's a balance because I sometimes don't think she gives herself enough credit and she does enough nice things for herself. But she, you know, she won't buy herself something nice. Like, you know, she's very appreciative if she gets a nice gift, but she, she's a bit of a tight ass. And <laughs> but she's also, she's also, you know, probably a good balance. I spend like a nutcase. So we balance each other out quite well. But she's, she's got a real sort of down to earth nature, appreciation for nice things. I mean, we've been in lockdown for a year and a half, so it's hard almost to think back to what those days were like but Snez loves to still get dressed up and you know go to an event or yeah. you know we don't do it very often with little kids but when we do it's something you really nice. enjoy yeah. and you embrace it and you know I think you're very comfortable in your own skin. What do you think has you know in lockdown with three kids what do you think has been part of keeping that attraction and that you know I guess that sexiness alive between the two of you? <laughs> um oh, look I, yeah honey <laughs> no no look I, I I don't know I it's not something I'm uh, there's no theoretical thought behind it it's from the first moment I met Snez there was a physical chemistry like no other woman I've ever met and 
Um, I think there's a year of that to go before it runs out. No, 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 no. And that hasn't that hasn't changed. I, it, you know, Snes has a, I don't know, a, a sexiness about her from how she smells and how she feels and her skin and her lips that you know kind of captured me from the first time I was close to her or kissed her and that hasn't changed and I don't think that ever will change. So with your program one of the things I guess that is really interesting to me is that you you really started the program for everyone but being a man who was you know on TV looking fantastic like really as I said the embodiment of what you teach you must have been uh, approached by a lot of men, uh, potentially, you know, in their late thirties and also going into middle age, which is such a tough time for men as well. You know, we talk a lot about menopause. We talk about a lot of around like women wanting to reinvent themselves, but men want to reinvent themselves. Yeah. What, what is the most common thing you hear? And what are the things that you help them with that, that you want to share with them? I think, I think with men and, you know, there's a, few stereotypes here but the things that you see often is they go from playing sport to stopping and their metabolism is also increasing through those years and they are also sort of in the peak work period of their life where they have to do the most hours and then potentially the added um, complication from a get keeping in shape perspective not it's, it's beautiful but is you can have young children so you're sleep deprived and 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 you're really busy both at work and at home. So that's not to suggest that women don't have the same challenges. But when I talk to lots of dads, lots of men in that period of their life, they, you know, they sort of go, "Oh, I used to used to play footy or basketball or whatever," and then, you know, I got a bit old or injured, and I sort of stopped, and I didn't replace that necessarily with any exercise. And I think the thing that men like is that you can relate to them and you can talk to them, and you've experienced sort of similar challenges yourself, and um and just just keeping it simple you know like the gyms are wonderful but only 15 percent of australians have a gym membership and not all men have the desire or the inclination to go to a gym so i think to be able to show them that you can really take care of yourself with some simple workouts from home and you can eat well without them feeling like oh you're eating you know two grains of rice and a lettuce leaf you know you can have healthy burgers and healthy spaghetti bolognese and steak and salads and barbecues and all this kind of stuff. And it's actually still delicious food. That's really appealing to a lot of guys. All of a sudden, um, you know, they have this realization that you don't have to necessarily turn your life upside down to wind the clock back and get yourself in better shape. Do you find that there are, um, you know, certain things that deliver that first quick result that keeps them motivated to stick to a program there are real parallels between what men and women both need to do but men men you got to if they've got to address the food you know the amount of uh, men that i speak to that are happy to perhaps embrace the work outside of things and then get frustrated that they don't get the results or get the speed of results and they're still eating really poorly so you know they have and it doesn't mean they have to eat a 10 out of 10 but you know, they need to typically eat less carbs, eat less processed foods, increase their protein, increase their veggie intake, drink more water, drink less alcohol. And that's not to say drink no alcohol and that's not to say drink five litres of water a day, but there just needs to be a healthy shift for both of those. And I mean, the, the good news for men is we typically have faster metabolisms and more lean muscle so we can get super fast results. I mean, it drives a lot of the women that I work with on 28 Crazy when their husbands only do two workouts a week and are eating the meals that they're creating and they lose the weight faster. So, you know, we really don't have any excuses. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just looking at those bad habits. I mean, if you're consuming alcohol seven days a week, that's a problem. If you binge drinking every weekend, that's a problem. If you haven't eaten, if you can't remember the last time you ate a vegetable, that's a problem. So there are some certain things that, you know, you need to face the music and you need to address. Guys, do you think that it's possible, um, and in your own experience, to look better in your 40s than you have in your 20s and 30s? Do you, have you seen examples where people are, because they're taking care of themselves or in your circle of friends or in your clients, 
where, you know, the 45-year-old who became a 28er actually looks better than their 35-year-old self when they were, as you were saying, in that hub of career, going out to the pub all the time, young kids, you know, because I believe and I have done enough research to know that you can turn back um, the hands of time. You can actually look and feel better no matter, you know, yeah. and you were saying about 10 years, but have you seen evidence of that in your group and, and in your um, experience? Yeah. Well, I've seen people look 15 years younger in yeah. 10 weeks, you know, skin, eyes, teeth, uh, obviously body, mm. literally like new, new people. And I th- and it's also their attitude as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it's how they carry themselves. Yeah. It's how comfortable they are They're in their own skin. You know, when yeah. I when I see sexy celebrities that just somehow seem ageless or are looking, you know, you know, your Brad Pitts and you know your, your J Lo's and this, you know, they're clearly yeah. very comfortable in their own skin. And I th- I think you learn yourself a bit more. You know, I'm not suggesting that I look better as a 41-year-old than I do I'm as a 25-year-old. I'm going to ask you why, Ashna. Is he still hot? Do you still, is he better? Is he getting better with age? Or, you know? Yeah, I think he is. I, find him, the more, gray, gray he gets the sexier and more handsome he gets he was always really attractive and damn sexy to me still to this day he walks you know he gets all dressed up even in his shorts and t-shirt I'm like (laughs) he's really he's up but yeah I find him getting sexier with age especially the wrinkles around the eyes I find that really Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do. I love these little wrinkles, these smile wrinkles around the eyes. I find that really sexy and all the grey. So definitely getting sexier with age. Do you moment. have a look that makes you feel sexy and ageless and like your best fit? Is there a, a go-to look that you think, you know what, I love this. I, this is my happy place. I think um, oh, jeans and a T-shirt, yes. But when it comes to getting dressed up, I love the whole... And I love the whole Rat and Boa look. Like the, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Rat and Boa, that label. I love the, it's almost like a, a what, what would you call out it? Out there patterns and really flowy, flowy. sort of Spanish style. Of, oh, wow. Yeah, it's just yeah. really Mediterranean almost. Yeah, just yeah. really summery, hot, warm, yeah, I mean, poop earrings. With a body I mean? and skin like this, safe to say she looks ridiculous. That, but, that's my go-to and that's yeah. what I feel the most comfortable in going out. Do you, um, do you do like grooming? Have you dragged him along for facials or Botox or, you know, anything other than? Uh, uh, definitely we- not. Definitely oh. not. I mean, look, the little girls might put a at-home face mask on me mm. from time to time. Look, I'm, I'm, I love a pedicure. He loves pedicure. I'm happy pedicures. to put my hand up and yeah. say I am uh, I absolutely love getting a pedicure. I don't have terribly attractive feet, so I pity the poor people that are having to <laughs> go through that. But I love getting a massage. I love getting a pedicure. Um, do you do, do any biohacking it. things? Do you do any ice baths or, you know, the Wim Hof breathing or yoga yeah, or sleep I, therapy? I, or any- yeah, I, I love a sauna and I love a cold shower. I love some mm. cold water therapy. Um, and, yeah, I'm starting to do yoga and Pilates and, you know, I'm definitely changing my workout style. Why is that? Uh, I, just, I, I just think complements... Like, I just think it's not just about muscles and running. It's kind of listening to your joints and being more mobile. And, you know, I just think as you get older, you want to sort of train smarter, not harder. 